Hey everyone, my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a top 10 list of aquatics I would like to own. I have done two other installments of this little series, top 10 reptiles I'd like to own and top 10 amphibians I'd like to own, so I wanted to extend it further and go into the aquatic side of things. Now I'm definitely more familiar with reptiles and amphibians, so those lists were pretty easy for me to make. This aquatic list did take a little bit of time uh, looking into things and researching and seeing other cool things that I would like to own. But as I was looking into things, the list definitely kept getting longer and longer, so I have for sure found things that I'm interested in, and I thought that I would just share that with you. As I did with the others, I'm gonna go from my top 10 being the least likely for me to own, and then number one being what I want most. As I said in the other two as well, I don't know if I'll get all of these things. It would be really cool, but these are definitely things that I can see myself having at some point or another in my life. So number 10 on the list is kind of a generalized thing because it intimidates me hardcore. I don't know if I'll ever be like fully comfortable starting one of these and keeping one of these. So we're just gonna have to see. And that is a reef aquarium of some type. I've seen really huge, beautiful, elaborate reef aquariums. And then I've also seen pretty cute, petite little nano reef aquariums. I don't know if it's easier to go big or to go small with these things. I'm willing to test it out. It does scare me. I don't have any experience with this and reef aquariums can be pretty sensitive to a lot of things. So I love them because they're beautiful and so comforting to watch and like putting different corals and things and kind of customizing it that way. But I know that it's a lot of work and it scares me. So don't know if I'll ever have one. So that's why it's number 10, but we will see what the future holds. So I'm pretty sure because number 10 was a reef aquarium of some type, you can probably figure out that the whole rest of this list involves freshwater. So there are tons and tons of saltwater fish and invertebrates and everything that I would love to have, but I didn't include any of them on this list because I don't know if I'll ever have a reef aquarium. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue with the freshwater side of things because I have confidence that I can actually make that work. All right, so number nine on the list is Garamis. I think these guys are so beautiful, especially the, I think it's called the red and blue Garamis. I'm not real sure. I'm sure I'll throw a picture of one of those up here for sure because they're stunning. I'm pretty sure they're relatively easy to keep and they just look great in any aquarium setting. Number eight on the list is pea puffers or they're also called dwarf puffer fish. Super tiny, super adorable, apparently super easy to keep. So I definitely want to dip my toe in the puffer side of things because I love uh, saltwater puffer fish as well. But to have this little like miniature version of one of those in your aquarium, I think they have to do brackish water if I'm not mistaken. It might be either or where they could do fresh water or brackish water. I'm not really sure. I haven't done full research on them. I just think they're really precious. Number seven on the list is angelfish. I had some of these growing up, but I don't remember a whole lot about them or their care other than just watching them swim around in the aquarium and looking at how gorgeous they are. I think they're so peaceful and serene and they've always really caught my eye anytime I go to a pet store, or fish store, or anything like that. I always see the angelfish and I always feel like I would just love to have some again someday. Number six on the list is a crayfish. I think these are so interesting especially like the electric blue crayfish good grief that's beautiful i do believe that they are kind of more solitary if i'm not mistaken i don't fully know but I think that they have to have kind of their own space and like kind of a larger aquarium. I think it's 20 gallons for one crayfish or something. So I'm not prepared for something like that right now, but I have definitely talked about it. I would love to have a crayfish. I think they're so cool and beautiful and interesting to watch. I love their molts and everything. They're just really interesting. I'd love to have a crayfish someday. Number five on the list is also pretty generalized and that's just shrimp. I want some shrimp someday. There are so many different types, so many different colorations and everything. I think that they are so precious. I love to watch them fight for food and just try and dominate the aquarium, kicking their little legs around and everything. I just, shrimp are so precious. And right now I don't have an aquarium that could successfully have uh, shrimp in them because I just have small aquariums and mostly beta aquariums. So I don't know. I know some people keep shrimp with their betas. I don't particularly feel like mine would be okay because my beta likes to attack everything. But maybe someday I'll get another small aquarium just dedicated to shrimp. We'll see. 
Number four on the list is another kind of generalized one and that is pom-pom crabs or just any other freshwater crabs. Same thing with the crayfish. I just think they're so fun and interesting to watch and interact in the aquarium and they're freaking cute. So I love freshwater crabs just in general, but the pom-pom crabs really make me smile. So I don't know. I just, I think a pom-pom crab or just any freshwater crab would make me really happy in some of my aquariums someday. Number three on the list is peacock gudgeons. These fish are so stunning. They look like little rainbow peacock paintings just swimming around in the tank. I don't know very much about them and their care requirements. This is just all based on looks because they are absolutely beautiful and I think in any aquarium they would really brighten things up and just put a smile on anybody's face. Number two on the list is a really big one for me and I'm really hoping to get one of these someday and that is a Dumbo Betta fish. I've always loved Dumbo Betta fish but I have yet to find one. I will always try to rescue a beta or find some sort of breeder. Now the Dumbo betas that I have found, they've been mostly on like eBay or something coming from, you know, overseas. And I just, I don't know, I don't want to do that just yet. So I'm kind of waiting it out and just seeing if I can find a Dumbo beta somewhere uh, locally maybe, or just, I don't know, somewhere that could be shipped to me that's not overseas. So. I don't know, we will see. And now we have reached number one and that is discus. I love discus fish so much. I've always loved them. They have always put a huge smile on my face. I could watch them and stare at them literally all day long and it is a huge dream of mine to have my very own big tall aquarium full of discus. I think they're so stunning and special fish and I just can't get enough of them. So they are 100% my number one and probably 100% something that's gonna happen someday. So yeah, that's it guys. My top 10 list of aquatics that I would like to own. I know that they were all freshwater and I wish that I felt more comfortable with the saltwater side of things to include those, but we'll just see what the future holds. So now that I've done reptiles, amphibians, and aquatics, I do wanna do a couple of other lists. I'm not sure exactly how I want to go about it or which ones that I want to do, but there are other types of animals. So I want to continue to do this and talk about different animals that I would like to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload next and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.